Hi everybody and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are, as always, your hosts Arne and Carlos and today we bring you a few little tips to make your knitting better. Because we had some questions yeah, about and... what do we do if we have uneven yeah, or, if or what... a big stitch in yeah. between small what ones? What do we or... do? One of the questions we read somewhere was what do we do when one of our stitches is too big or too tight? Uh, how do you fix that without unraveling? Because we don't want to unravel things that we've already knitted. No, sometimes and you have to do it. Sometimes you have to do it, but in this case you don't. No. And we just want to let you know that we read comments, we enjoy receiving feedback. Uh, we've, we're always on the lookout for new ideas, for new tutorials. So please, <laughs> if you have anything on your mind, if you have anything that you don't feel we've talked about or taught you, please put it on the comment field below here, down there and we will consider it, we will definitely read it, we will consider it and you know one day we might even do a tutorial about it. We did read a few comments on this particular uh, subject so today we are doing this little video to help you out with your knitting. Yes. So I made a sample. And I you've done it on purpose I we have to say. I tried to make a sample with some good tension and some bad tension and Actually, if you get into keeping your tension, like on this, this, this line, you see there's... On the top line, The yeah. top line, the tension is good. And if you know how to, to knit with good tension, it's really hard to make a bad tension. Yeah, so that, so is, on, that is the first row, which is good. And then you've done a, a, a few rows. Maybe you can explain yeah. the rows so one on, by one. On this row, you see, I try to make one stitch, a few stitches smaller. Tighter. Tighter. And that happens if you pull the pattern color too much. When but you are, when you are uh, not... When you're knitting. Yeah, when you're not carrying the floats mm -hmm. properly, they will pull inwards. Yeah. And, and you see, you will think that it's possible to just make it a little bit bigger to, to make it match the rest of the knit. But if it's too tight, it's so easy to pull. If you pull the, the small stitch, the other one disappears. Yeah. So you should be very careful when you do color work that the color, the pattern color is mm. at least it doesn't have to, it, it can't be too tight because then you have a problem, then you should unwrap. Yeah, and now if you're wondering about carrying floats and how we do it, we've got a video on that. So it's probably going to show up up on the screen. I think it goes up on the left side. There's a little information icon. Click on that and you'll see the video tutorial that we've done on how to carry floats. Yes. And on this line, you can hardly, I tried to make a bigger stitch. On purpose. That is actually kind of hard because when you get into it, it goes more or less by itself. So I tried to make this one a little bit looser. looser. Yes. And if you have a loose stitch like this, that's no problem because then you just go to the back and just pull it a little bit. And then it looks perfect. Perfect. And, the, and yeah, you and, steam it. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. And then you say, you know, if you pull a very, a very loose stitch, you go in from the back, pull it inwards uh, towards you, and then you're wondering, well, but isn't that going to pop out again? Uh, then it's always good to know that if you, if you steam the garment, if you use an iron with steam, the steam will actually uh, catch everything and it will stay firmly on, on, on its place. So don't worry about that at all. Yeah, and you have to rem remember, after all, we're all human beings, mm -hmm. so you don't have to use a ruler or anything to check if they're exactly the same size, because that's almost impossible. Yeah. It's like, if you have to freeze the picture to see if there's any difference, there's no difference. Yeah, so use, use your eye basically and uh, measure it with your eye. If they look more or less the same size, they're okay. Yeah, you can live with that. Yeah. But if it looks like this, then it's harder. Yeah, you can't live with that. No. On this, this line, I, I just put the white yarn in without uh, doing anything to control the tension. And then you get these big stitches. They're like almost like a duplicate stitch yeah. because they're on top of the stockinette. Yeah, and they look kind of double the size yeah. as well compared to the other stitches. And if you do this for a whole round, you should unwrap it and start over again. So there's no way to do, fix that. Because you can't pull all these stitches, then you have a tension problem. Mm. Because this is not nice. And you see, it's, it's easy if you don't uh, con have the same control on both yarns, you get this. It's, they just get bigger. It's, it's really bad. So that one we have to unravel. Yeah. 
The one in the middle though, it's fixable. If this you is fixable. Inwards. This is not fixable. This is fixable. Not fixable. And this is good. That's yeah. even. <laughs> so, so what we always recommend so, is to knit a swatch, check your tension. If you have a few loose stitches, you then can you can pull them. It. You can pull them inwards. You can fix that. And just pay attention to your color work, pay attention to your tension, and it should all be okay. To make a mistake now and then, or, or lose focus and have a loose stitch in the middle of your, of your knitting is not the end of the world. Please mm -hmm. do not unravel anything for that. Um, try pulling it inwards or try pulling it outwards if it's too tight. And it should work. And sometimes you just have to live with it. Yeah. And if worse comes to worse and you have... Um, two tight stitches like that, that you can't fix, you could always duplicate stitch on top of yeah, that. Yeah, if it disappears. If it disappears, <laughs> just add a duplicate stitch. Duplicate one. So and, and, and you're fine. So, so that's how we fix loose stitches. Yes. So that's the tip of the week. Uh, we hope you have been enjoying this uh, little <laughs> tutorial. Uh, we're trying hard to help you make your knitting even better than it already is. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please, if you like the video, hit the like button. And remember that we're very open to comments, suggestions about what we should be doing in the future. So keep those coming in as well. Thank you so much for watching and see you again next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.